spent years in the kitchen trying to develop things like chicken fingers that your family can have, grown-ups, kids, and enjoy it guilt-free. And be tasty. And be tasty. That's the number one thing. It's all about, you know, not depriving yourself, but having things that taste outrageous. I'm going to put some chicken into this mixture. And the chicken uh, is just boneless, skinless chicken breast okay. that I've already cut up into shapes of like fingers, mm -hmm. chicken fingers. And then I'm going to use, let me just get a towel here. If you want to open up the cornflake box, okay. Kellogg makes this great product of already crushed cornflake crumbs. So let's here? pour a, a, a hefty amount. There you go. Oh, they I take about, oh, three to five minutes, depending on how thick your chicken is. And you made this dressing here. This I did. I have my own line of low fat salad dressings and this happens to be a low-fat ranch hmm. now kids that's love low dip. fat it's low fat it See? only has a gram and a half of fat per tablespoon i don't believe that for a second now we're just going to add our egg whites i like to start off with the liquids first and our vanilla all right all right going to do just a little bit of mixing of the two and in most of my cookies i only use egg whites it's okay. like cake batter. It does. <laughs> Although, you know what? I love desserts, but I don't know about you. Cookies are my absolute favorite. Do you notice how mostly when you make omelets, you're slaving over the stove, having to prepare it all? 15 minutes, but chopping everything what? up. And... I walked away by my, my omelets cooking while we're doing everything else. Wow. So there's no reason why you can't have breakfast in bed every morning. There's many ways to do breakfast in bed. Uh, how about Mother's Day, for example? You know, instead of mother coming down and having to make her own breakfast, make a special tray and create it for mother. As promised, this breakfast only took 10 minutes. If you've got the kind of coffee maker that you can set for the night before, which I did, mm -hmm. coffee's ready. You you truly do all the night before prep, and, and it makes it so much easier. We have done Maybe this. You know what? What? i got to go. Oh, and waiting. I guess I've got to go, too, so I'll see myself out the back door. That's great. You give that to your husband, and have a great time. Thank you so Thanks, much. Nancy. Thank you for helping. I appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Nope, nope, can't wait for a cue. Nope, Cut. breakfast okay. in a minute. Okay, right. fresh orange juice. Little orange add juice. a little bit of uh, sweetener, uh -huh. some sugar, some vanilla. A little bit of vanilla. Non-fat milk. We're just going to mix sweetener. it up really quick. How are we doing on time, Johnny? Help oh, me out here. 25 seconds. Oh, oh my goodness, we're just past 30. This oh, is going to be fine. unbelievable. All right, we're that's ready. it. What we were that's at, uh, uh, less than... Uh, We've got like 15 seconds. And you know what? This is wonderful for families, for kids. It's so healthy. Only 42 calories a cup. Oh, zero grams of fat. And the cream cheese spread ha is in the book along with this, along with the carrot bread and the banana bread. <laughs> okay, now sloppy joes, the interesting thing about them, you can use ground beef. We're using ground turkey. But the mm. interesting thing is if you brown the turkey, which I've already done, and pour it into a colander and drain up all the fat, I want you to see this. This has all the fat that came out, out of, of the turkey. Fat. And so instead of it going into your stomach, it's going to be left going down the garbage disposal, and we're going to add no fat to our so turkey. Beef. But what's so wonderful is, when was the last time you ate meatloaf and had it guilt-free? And the good news is, it's all the same taste sensations. We've got ground turkey, instead onions. Instead of beef or veal or Yeah, right, but, but it's still really good. But we've got barbecue sauce and Worcestershire. But the key here is to use egg whites instead of the whole egg. Okay, and then don't bake it in the pan like your grandma used to because the bad news is all the fat stays in the pan. A new twist for the new millennium is to bake it on a cookie sheet and then all the fat oozes out. So instead of it going into your tummy, you're going to eat it completely guilt free. But are the flavor and the texture going to be quite the same well, because fat it. equals flavor, right? Yes, that's <laughs> basically true. However, if you do things like fat free barbecue sauce, Worcestershire sauce, onions, seasoning, you're not going to miss the fat at all. And look, this looks like real meatloaf. The good news, three slices, and those are hearty, 270 calories and only four grams of fat.